Hi guys! This is uh, July Dumnoni and as you can see in a moment it's absolutely fucking glorious weather and I'm already sunburned, sunburned boobies. Um, so, we have crew, that is a Jasper, Jasper is big crew and that is a Seth who is a reenactor who also LARPs so all of you guys that say the two can't get along because shut the fuck up. Now we've got Charlie who is new and who is an absolute hero. And then this is our field. It's a big fucking field. We like the field. Hi Sarah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. We have plastic camp and crew area is somewhere over there. And I would show you but it's blazing sunshine because it's about midday and I'm very pale skinned. So I am going to show you how to do combat later on when it's slightly cooler. Hopefully. Hopefully. And then yeah, yeah. Sadly, after I recorded that little introduction clip, um, which was on the Saturday afternoon at about you know Saturday, it was midday, maybe one o'clock. We tend not to keep the time very well there. Um, sadly, after I recorded that little introductory clip, which was so nicely done, I was actually laid low by heat exhaustion, um, and I ended up napping for the best part of four hours, and it only really started cooling down after the sun had gone down, which is not a good time to do videos at all because you were never able to see anything. So I had to save the video for Sunday morning, which is what you're going to be seeing now. It was much more overcast and much more manageable, but still fucking boiling, and I nearly died again. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Hello! Um, okay, so I've told you about the theory behind combat, and since we're in the field, I thought I may as well show you how we actually do this. So I had some willing volunteers. I have a fellow rear actor and I have someone with just no fear and no pain and just, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be showing you a couple of different uh, weapons and how you react to them. Seth has got his spear and his shield, he's got a sword as well. I've got Dana, na -na 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 -na. and Jack has got a hand axe and a little shield. So we're going to show that. And somewhere around here there's an archer, but we'll find you her later. Currently. Yeah, she, she, she's currently found a fluffy dog and gotten very distracted. So. <laughs> Basically, uh, Danax, first of all, I'm going to use it because it's what I'm holding and they've both got shields, so I quite like to show you that technique. Danax is mostly used to break a shield wall. Um, it's a big fucking heavy thing. You've got this, you've got a good five foot of oak with maybe seven or eight pounds of heavy fucking steel on the end of it, iron at the very least. Uh, so you're going to need both hands to wield it. You know, this is foam. Whee! I could throw it around. but. That's not what I do. If I start flipping it around like that, no one's going to take me seriously. So, this is heavy. Those guys are going to get into a shield wall with one big shield and one little shield. It's adorable. <laughs> and I'm going to break their shield wall. Now, to do that, I've got my Dane axe, get the momentum going, and they fall back. And that's it, their shield wall is broken. I'm Especially as I was actually my face. neck. I'm sorry I hit you in the face. <laughs> no, you hit my neck. Um, but yeah, that's their shield wall broken, basically. That's how they react. Some people don't quite get it and they just stagger back a little bit, but essentially a Danax is heavy enough that if the person wielding it is big enough, then the shield is shattered, the arm holding the shield is shattered, and that's a very big gap in the shield wall that everyone else can just rush through. The person wielding a Danax is equally as dangerous to the people on their side because, as you saw, they need a lot of space around them and if any of their friends get in the way, well, tough titties. Then we've got the spear and shield. So, I don't know, would you guys like to fight each other? And I'll just explain while this is going on. Okay, so, spear and shield, nice and jabbing, keeps them at a distance. Axe and shield is... Um, Try and keep it so that the camera can see what you're doing, lads. God damn it, you guys are crap at this. Um, basically, the spear has the advantage because he's got the distance and he's, he, he, can, he can stand there and poke. <laughs> they are stab safe spears, um, so he's got the distance and he can just stand at a safe distance and poke him till he dies. Um, the way to defeat a spear is. Now, I need you to. You need me to stop I mean, being a reenactor for a second, don't you? Yeah, stop being a reenactor for a second and let him defeat the spear, basically, so that we can give an example. The way to defeat a spear is you just need to get past the spear, you need to get in close, and then once you get past the spearhead, obviously he's fucked because that that's his weapon now three foot past you. And, Unless I do it as a reenactor. And then you'll do. Just... Unless you do it as a reenactor and then you poke a lot. No, poke, poke, poke. Then when he comes in close, I go yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, 
but most people will uh, either go with spear and shield or they'll go with just spear and have a little dagger at the end so that if someone gets in past the spear they can use the dagger and knife them in the fucking neck um, F word, sorry, children around right, archer we have a lady archer now, we have a gentleman archer as well ok these two archers they are going to shoot at my lovely shield wall and the shield wall is going to show exactly what kind of what, what happens when an arrow hits them, which is to say they're going to fall on their ass because it's an arrow. The force of an arrow is enough to knock you on your ass. I mean, granted, these bows are only 18 pounds, but if you think about it in terms of realism, you'd have a 60 pound bow at the very least, going at least, firing an arrow at least 80 miles an hour, and that pressure is going to knock you flying. You okay there, sweetheart? It's fucking not stay on. Giggity. We have some very, very professionals, and um, yeah, even glancing blows. There we go. Well done, gentlemen! Yay! Everybody with daggers! Yay! Yay. Actually, we don't have anyone here with daggers. Oh, we I don't have anyone burn. here with daggers. Oh, oh dear. Right. I've also got my belt on, which is... But we do have a sword and shield. Mm. Would you like to be involved in video too? <laughs> I am not the target! How did you do that? You don't have a bow. That's not fair. I'm sure that's cheating in some way. Are these things better than you <laughs> Yeah, that's the downside to Lark Safe Arrows, is that they don't fly very well. And uh, one thing that we do is we don't step out of their way, because you wouldn't be able to step out of the way of an actual arrow coming towards you. Actually, I stepped into its light. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> revenge is sweet, isn't it? Yeah. No, I'm yes. um, You can step into arrows' ways. You know, you wouldn't step out of real arrows' ways. I'm, I'm well aware that I'm just a different body voice at this point, but that's okay. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. It's fine. I'm all grubby and horrible. Um, so, that's that. Can anyone think of anything else that we should probably show? Um, Maybe do a little bit fight. of weird or sword You're fighting. Weird sword and shield against thing. sword and shield. Yeah. We could do that. Do the two sword and shields want to have at each other? Yeah. For the entertainment of my um, sword in ages. of my few subscribers. <laughs> I don't have an awful lot of subscribers. I don't care. There'll be many them. soon. It will be many soon. I will post this video everywhere. Be famous! <laughs> yeah, okay. Sword and shield. They're both pretty evenly matched. Um, one of them's got a bigger shield than the other. Can you see their stance? They've got nice wide feet and they're taking each other very seriously. Now, one thing that they do is they're telegraphing their moves. They're making them nice and big and pulling their blows, although you can't tell from here, obviously. It's a bit more flailing than um, <laughs> fighting, but it is Sunday morning and we're all a little bit broken after the weekend. Uh, <laughs> so what they tend to do is they'll telegraph their moves, they'll pull their blows, but they'll look as good as they possibly can while doing it. And uh, yeah, the whole point is to the whole point of the combat is to look good while not getting hurt. Now, obviously, in actual battle, it gets really intense sometimes, and we get very excited. So um, it's really difficult to remember that, and people will forget to pull their blows. But we're, we're a pretty forgiving lot. We're a pretty forgiving crew lot. Call, and that's, that's our cue to go. That's a crew call. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll do another video from the safety of my living room soon in the future. Bye-bye. <laughs>